Welcome to the training program Manager Waste Management. It's time to begin the module Compost Yard and the Unit Management of Resources and Operations. Please click Start to begin. Welcome to Unit on Management of Resources and Operations of the module Compost Yard. In this unit, you will learn how to manage key resources of business, effectively enhance market share and profitability. Before going into details, let's have a look at the learning objectives of this unit. After completion of this unit, you will be able to describe how to manage important resources of business. List the best practices to enhance the compost quality. Describe how to evaluate the effectiveness of marketing campaigns. The compost plant includes processing area consisting of yard for windrow, formation and turning and the machinery in it. Compost maturity area and packing yard. Windrow formation. Windrow formation can be done manually using simple devices like spade and shovel if the quantity of waste is not too large. If the quantity is large, the wastes are allowed to form a windrow, which has trapezoidal shape. Mechanical sieving. The degraded waste is sent to the feeder conveyor for sieving. If the quantity is large, the wastes are allowed to days. form a windrow, this is which has trapezoidal shape. The level 1 or first trommel is small in size and is used for small-sized products. The level 2 or second trommel is large in size and is used for large-sized products. Final sieving. After the operation of the two trommels, the product is conveyed to the manure yard. There, it goes Mechanical through maturation and then the to degraded the packing waste yard is sent where the, the final product is stored before and packing. composting after 35 days. This is done at two levels. The level 1 or first trommel is small in size and is used for small-sized products. The level 2 or second trommel is large in size and is used for large-sized products. Final sieving. After the operation of the two trommels, the product is conveyed to the manure yard. There, it goes through maturation and then to the packing yard, where the final product is stored before packing. Human resources are the most important part of the success of any organization. Hence, every employer hopes that its employees are always happy and satisfied with their work and the work environment. In spite of taking all the measures, employees may face occasional concerns or they may want to complain about their grievance to someone in the authority. Some of the best ways to address employee complaints are 1. Set up a proper system Every organization must have a proper grievance system or a separate grievance department. Must have a policy of confidential complaints so that no employee feels scared after complaining against any other employee must have a separate policy to ensure safety of women staff. Also, they must be given right to complain secretly against any misbehaving colleague. 2. Categorizing complaints After receiving complaints from the employees, the need is to categorize these complaints. Complaints related to working conditions and safety will belong to the same category. The other category may be for unreasonable management policies. Another one may include complaints regarding violation of rules and policies. 3. Addressing complaints after categorizing the complaints and assigning them to the related authorities, the most important step is to investigate these complaints. If a person is found guilty of anything, 
he or she must be punished according to the company policies. The name of the complainant must not be disclosed. No innocent should be punished due to a false complaint. 4. Reviewing Outcomes After addressing the complaints and punishing the guilty ones, the time is to review whether the action taken by the company is effective or not. The review can be taken from the complainant. It can be found out if he or she is satisfied with the action taken by the authorities. Maintenance is the action required to retain or restore a machine or equipment to a specified operational condition to achieve its maximum efficiency and maximum useful life, that is, keeping the machine in good working condition throughout its life period. Maintenance includes tasks such as lubricating, checking alignment, adjusting, repairing and replacing different parts of the machine. It includes corrective maintenance and preventive maintenance. There are four types of maintenance. Breakdown maintenance is needed when and where the machine is showing signs of breakdown or has completely broken down. It implies that repairs are made after the equipment or machine has become out of order and it cannot perform its normal function any longer. For example, an electric motor of a machine or tool not working, a broken belt and so on. Daily checkup includes applying oil, grease to the machines whenever required. Before starting the machine every day, conveyor belts, reduction gear motors and other such parts should be checked. Trommels should be thoroughly cleaned daily and the meshes of the trommels should be cleaned depending upon the clogging condition. Weekly maintenance is mainly preventive maintenance. The machines are stopped on a particular day of the week for weekly maintenance, preferably on Sundays. Thorough cleaning, checking, oiling and greasing of all parts of the machines and equipment is done. If any parts such as sprocket, chain, bearings and conveyor are found damaged, they should be replaced or repaired. Annual maintenance is also preventive maintenance. Normally 10 to 14 days are taken for annual maintenance. Trommels are checked for their alignment. Replacement of damaged nets, pipes, rectangular pipes, bearings, sprockets, chain, conveyors, conveyor rollers and return rollers and other such parts as carried out during annual maintenance. Replacement of oil in the reduction gears, repair of motors, painting of machines and other such activities are also carried out. Resources and inventory means all the raw materials and tools used in the composting process. The problems and the ways to deal with them are chain struck, stoppage of first and second strommel, breaking of conveyor belts, stoppage of power check, maintenance of compost and timely checking of resources. Click each tab to know more. The quality of the compost depends upon the quality of the incoming waste that is to be composted. An effective separation of the waste in the initial stages of the process is helpful in controlling the quality of the compost. Another crucial factor is to control the process. It includes maintaining the optimum temperature, the moisture content and its benefit in controlling the growth of plant. 
The quality of the compost can be improved by adopting certain measures. Click each tab to know more. Marketing means to take steps to popularize a product, which will help in selling it easily. Generating compost is followed by selling it to the potential buyers, but there is a need to convince these buyers to buy this compost. To popularize a product in order to sell it, proper marketing is required and the steps to market planning include Identify and characterize markets Evaluate composting operations and compost quality Identify distribution and marketing options Develop the marketing plan Implement the plan Marketing campaign is to identify avenues and to increase market share and profitability. Marketing means to take steps to popularize a product which will help in selling it easily. Similarly, generating compost is followed by selling it to the potential buyers. But there is a need to convince these buyers to buy this compost. The four P's of marketing are product, price, place and promotion. Marketing campaign is to identify avenues and to increase market share and profitability depends upon these four P's. Product The features of the product must be adapted according to the needs of the targeted groups to increase sales. Example of product feature with respect to compost are Purpose and benefit of the product To use it as fertilizer or soil conditioner Quality of the product This is assured by the moisture content of the compost Packaging It depends upon supplying the loose or packet compost Additional services the additional services include free delivery of the compost. Price Every film in every type of industry faces pricing issue as a core issue. For all businesses, the most important factor is to cover their production costs. To grow further in the business and to make technological advancements, Producers add their profit margin in these costs. But the price of a product is dependent upon other factors too, which include the product's demand in the market and the prices of competing firms. The terms of payment is also an important factor in a business. If the buyer is a household, it will buy in small quantity, but payment will be in cash. On the other hand, if the buyer is a farmer or has some other business, it will buy it in credit and it should be granted to them. Both terms of payment are essential for a business to grow. Place The place comprises two main aspects, location and distribution. Location of the customer impacts the profitability and sale prospects of the business. If a business is set up in an urban area, it will not have many problems if its customers are from urban area too. However, if the business belongs to rural area but its customers are in urban areas, this will add to its costs. The distribution aspect refers to the reach of the business. It means that the business could be just locally based or region based or it may be nationally or internationally based. This creates an impact on the brand name of the product and its future prospects. Promotion A product doesn't sell by its own. The customers need to be informed about the product, specialities, its difference from the other products, and discount, if any, available on that product. In today's world, because of excessive reach of technology, this feature has become really crucial in gaining customers and increase the reach of the business. 
Promotion can be done by various measures, such as advertising, personal selling, distribution of free samples, exhibition and attractive packaging. Watch this video on 4 P's of Marketing. A good marketing strategy considers the four P's of marketing. These are also referred to as the four P's of the marketing mix. Product, price, place, and promotion. All four elements must be combined properly for the successful presentation of a product or service. Product includes the name, design, and packaging of a good or service. It is typically branded and tangible, and it satisfies a need in addition to providing an experience for the consumer. Price entails a product's cost. The cost of a product might incorporate discounts, seasonal pricing, bundling, and other strategies. Place is about delivering a product. Place decides where and how customers will find a product or service. Place also involves channels of distribution, which determine the paths a product takes to get to the consumer. Promotion involves advertising, communications, and public relations. Promotion means asking the question, what should the marketing message be and how should it be expressed? The goal of promotion is to entice the consumer to make a purchase. The four P's have changed over the years because of improved technologies like the internet, which allows businesses greater opportunities to communicate with customers. As organizations have grown and diversified, their marketing has too. The original four P's concept continues to help marketers deal with obstacles that prevent the widespread adoption of their product.
Thank you so much, Sharon, for sharing so much valuable information on management of resources, quality enhancing practices, and marketing plan and campaigns. You're welcome. In this unit, you have learnt about managing key resources of the composting process, maintenance of the machines used in composting process, and the types of maintenance, remedies to issues with resources and inventory management, quality enhancing practices for compost industry, marketing plans and campaigns and need for marketing. Four P's of market.